Hi, I'm Steven Stomsky with Stomsky Racing. Today I'm going to demonstrate and provide user instructions for our SR072 and 073 circle clip injector. The tool comes in two sizes, 22mm and 23mm stock sizes, as well as other sizes available upon special order. The first step is to make sure that the tool that you're using is the proper tool for the job. If you use a tool that's too big, it won't fit into the piston. If you use one that's too small, it'll overcompress the ring, possibly defeating it, either breaking it or bending it, and it won't snap properly into place in the piston. The first thing we do is we take the tool and separate it into its component parts, the plunger and the sleeve. We're going to demonstrate both a constant radius circlip installation and installation of a dogleg style circlip. First, we will go with the constant radius circlip. Using a flat bladed screwdriver that's been notched, I slide the circlip in place by pressing the screwdriver on the base of the circlip into the small diameter on the sleeve, in the sleeve. I then tilt at an angle the circlip in the sleeve and notice two things. One, that it's in an angle in the sleeve and two, that it's protruding past the end. I then insert the plunger from the other diameter until it contacts the base of the circlip at, at the edge of the sleeve. Taking the piston, I then insert the tool with the circlip in place into the groove on the piston up against the wrist pin. Notice once again that the tool is at an angle. It doesn't fit at right angles or square or perpendicular in the piston. It doesn't need to, and in fact it shouldn't. It should be at a slight angle in order to accommodate the circlip, at, which is also at an angle. Now taking gentle pressure, firmly hold in place the plunger, and with your other two fingers on either side of the circlip, of the, of the sleeve, pull the sleeve backward, and the circlip is injected. Double check to make sure that the circlip sits properly in its groove and then you can go on to the next one. In this case, the next one is going to be the dog leg. It's a similar process. Insert into the sleeve, the small diameter, just past the opening, leading the dog leg and the open end of the circlip protruding and tilt it at an angle. Insert the plunger from the other diameter until it contacts the base of the circlip. Now we insert the tool into its spot, making sure that the dog leg is indexed into its receptor on the piston. Again, we're at an angle. Gentle pressure with your thumb on the plunger, pull back on the sleeve until it's injected confirm that it's seated properly. Practice a couple times on the workbench before you get to the engine and you'll find the tool does exactly what you need it to do. No more flying circlips, no more cursing, no more gouged fingertips, no more blood. Appreciate you tuning in. See you again soon. Thank you.